that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Vladimir Klitschko is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Fires off the hook, look at that. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Good job on the two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Vladimir Klitschko's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Vladimir Klitschko able to target that uppercut and land it. Zones in on that overhand right. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking the chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway, and then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room, and at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room, and you have a choice. You put your feet down, and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Able to get him up. That's a huge left. Oh, that's got to hurt. And Vladimir Klitschko is down. He got knocked down with a power shot right on Klitschko's mug. One, two, three, four, five. Vladimir Klitschko is able to beat the count. Let's see what Vladimir can offer up now. Round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum game. Yeah, obviously it gets you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, also, Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they... Wow! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five! Vladimir Klitschko's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. How about that left hand? Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Big, big shot he just scored with. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, two, three, four. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Keep your distance. Vladimir Klitschko's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. Of course, that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. is doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Solid. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. Look at this. Bad intentions is his opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Fun.